I love Qatar and its people like I love my son and my family. Well, there are many reasons to mention, but one of the main reason is the inseparable cultural bond between India and Qatar. Hey dad, I really want to go to our home country. When are we going? Ah, oh, nice question. You know, one thing, the same thing I asked long years back to your grandpa. Nowadays, the whole world is closely watching this Arabian peninsula, Qatar, as its ancestors are abundantly blessed by the Almighty. Also, its traditional and cultural values are well preserved by the Qatari youth. Hey, hey, my dear son, can I tell you one incident which happened to my colleague in my previous company? The lifestyle by wishing May Allah bless you and grant you peace, gives you a positive energy and inspiration, and also it attracts you by heart. Come inside, please. What was he doing during the office time? Am I giving salary for him to sleep, huh? Go, go, go. You are responsible for this. And I need an explanation from you. Boss, please accept my sincere apology. Actually, yesterday night he called me and requested for a leave. But I didn't give it. And later today only I came to know that uh, his son was hospitalized in a very critical situation. And uh, he was there in the hospital until early morning. Astaghfirullah, that is so sad. Give him two days of paid leave. I will dua to Allah for his kids' well-being. Inshallah, everything will be all right. Now I recall the well-known Quranic verse, which states that if you show mercy towards the people in the earth, the one who is in the heavens will shower his mercy upon him. No, he has to pay the money. Previous month money he had to pay. How much he has to pay? Let's wait. You have to pay 210. Okay. How much for this? Yeah, total 200 pen. 210. Yeah, previous month 200 and this is 10 real. Okay. I'll pay that. Shukran. I have witnessed here repeatedly the Islamic tradition of helping people and showing mercy to them. Daddy, why some ladies cover their face in Qatar? Oh, that I don't know my dear son. Uh, but for sure I will consult with my friend and I will let you know. Don't worry. Uh, my dear friend, I have a question for you. Yeah, tell me. Uh, why in this country most of the women are covered by niqab and abaya? <laughs> Habibi, you know one thing. Most of the precious things in this world are either uh, hidden or you know covered. Especially for us, our women are the most valuable thing in this world. Hope you understood yeah, that. Yeah. And that is our Islamic values as well, that we should protect our women. Oh.